just as it has always been, when our memories of the ancient world fade into twilight, a new era dawns to fill the void, an unfamiliar path with a pulse of its own, a tempo not dictated by the labor of men, but accelerated by the rhythm of machines, launching the world into an age of bold innovation. From this cauldron of steel and sweat, a vision of prosperity emerged. Harnessing the untold power of the elements, turning night into day. Creating new designs that brought the world stage to the masses. And providing an experience that many had never imagined. The advent of mechanized warfare brought devastation like none the world had ever seen providing a window of opportunity for some to dictate conformity as regimes spread their ideologies with their heavy hand, inciting the world to the brink of war. And yet, some chose a different path and through their vision brought unique perspectives to the world. A singular proponents of free thinking remained striving for peace in their endeavors to unlock the secrets of the universe. Some of which would fill our hearts with fear and regret. And as this progress unfolds, the finite nature of our world becomes clear. Our survival, the survival of all the world's peoples, depends on our ability to coexist in peace. But this peace is tenuous. Although mankind will always look onward, yearning for more, searching for new boundaries, only to break through them with the understanding that this world is one in which we all share, comes the responsibility of knowing that the decisions you make today will have a lasting impact on the generations of tomorrow. And welcome to our Let's Play of Civilization V, Brave New World. And uh, was it just me, or did that opening sequence kind of sound like a lecture from Al Gore or something? No, actually, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was actually pretty moving. Anyway, uh, as some of you may know, I've done two Let's Plays of Civilization V, um, both of which either never ended or <laughs> still theoretically in existence or ended really terribly so let's hope we can finally have one really good one that'll take us to uh, the actual conclusion of a civilization game that being said I hear a lot of good things about Brave New World and that's a lot of good features that really uh, shuffle the board in terms of civilization so I'm excited to jump into it and I know a lot of you are really interested in seeing what exactly um, Civilization of Brave New World will bring to uh, the playing the playing field. I'm always I was like huge maps because well they're the most interesting and I like to have lots of lots of stuff going on. Anyway, let's talk about let's go over some of the new civilizations they've added. Um, I'm going to be playing as one of them. And uh, they've added nine, or so I believe. Anyway, we have uh, Morocco. We have Assyria. Uh, let's go down, 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 down. No, we have Poland. I believe Poland is new. Uh, down, down, down. Venice. Uh, the Spice Islanders. Has been in there. Spain, Portugal is new. Brazil is new. The Shushan, uh, Shushan, 
I'm not entirely sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, they are new. Uh, Zulus are new, I believe. I for, I for some reason remember them being in... I'm pretty sure they were at least in Civilization 4. I don't think Byzantium is new. I think they were added in the last one. And looks like that's it. I'm not sure if I counted nine. Maybe I missed one and that I didn't know it was actually new. In any case, the civilization I am going to be playing as is Assyria and King Ashurbanipal because Syria to me are the world's greatest bas badasses that nobody ever knew. That they were like literally the first world empire really that ever existed and uh, one of the greatest empires that ever existed, yet nobody seems to know who they are. Uh, they're kind of referred to sometime, sometimes as like the biblical equivalent, equivalent of Nazis because they were extremely brutal and cruel to their enemies. And maybe we can talk a little bit about, uh, about some of that later. In any case, I think they'd be cool to play us. So, let's read what they're... Bonus is, when a city is conquered, you gain a free technology already discovered by its owner. Gaining a city through trade deal does not count. It can only happen once per enemy city. There you go. That sounds interesting. So, let's just jump right in. The people bow to your esteemed will, O wise and illustrious King Ashurbanipal of Assyria. Across the world you are known as both a scholar and a warrior. And yet the legends represent merely a glimmer of your true ambition. Although your enemies cower to the thought of your ferocity in conquest, you are most proud of your intellectual pursuits. Your thirst for knowledge led to your establishment of the Royal Library at Nineveh, which came to represent one of the greatest collections of ancient texts and tablets found anywhere in the world, securing your legacy as one of Assyria's greatest kings. Wise and fearsome king, the time has come for you to return the kingdom of Assyria to its greatest heights. Will you once again strive to acquire the knowledge and histories of all the world's peoples? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Yes, I can, narrator. Um, alright, well this seems like a decent enough place to set up a first city. So, while uh, in my previous Let's Plays, wow, looks like I might even be in the same place that I was last Let's Play, which is Western Africa. I oh my god, oh my god, I forgot to turn off all that crap. Anyway, as I was saying, as in my previous Let's Plays, uh, I used to just do it so the only victory was military victory. However, I hear that in uh, Brave New World, they've really focused in on the other victories, um, making them much more interesting. So I've enabled all victory conditions this time. Cool. I got an advanced technology. Look at me. So, I will still be pursuing military might because I am the great empire of Assyria. However, just because at some point where I've dominated the entire world, making it obvious that there's no point where anybody could beat me, um, that doesn't mean one of the other civilizations won't sneak up and try and claim a cultural victory underneath my watchful eyes. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm not in Africa. At first I thought that might be an ocean, but turns out it's just a lake. Sorry, everyone who was getting really excited for that to be an ocean. So I'm not the best uh, at civilization. I'll be the first to admit that because I will admit what I'm good at and what I'm not good at. And uh, generally my strategy at the first opening sequences is to... Um, Expand everywhere as I possibly everywhere I possibly can. So I will take uh, liberty, considering it is for civilizations who 
want to expand the fastest, which is exactly what I want to do. One of the great things I like uh, about these first opening sequences is trying to figure out where exactly in the world I am. No, oh, thank you. like we've got uh, a wonderful city-state near me. Man, where am I? A lot of, a lot of deserts. I feel like this has to be like the Sahara Desert and up here is like North Africa, maybe. Bow shot. Hmm, we'll go for mining, considering there's some mineral deposits near us. Or copper. Copper's not a mineral, it's a metal, right? I don't know if there's like a scientific difference between the two. Um, well, I'm assuming there must be. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I think this is Africa. And I think that might be the Nile River. Yeah, I think we might be almost exactly in the same place that we were last time. Because the, the Dutch Empire started in uh, Western Africa as well. Out. I have two city-states right beside us. Yeah, you get those barbarians. Yeah. Yeah, you get them so we don't have to. Alright, well... Slowly building up uh, our first city here. Man, I really gotta turn off this crap. Wow, we are surrounded by city states. But no empires for us to conquer that we have so far scouted out. I mean, of course, we can gobble up these small city states. I can adopt a new policy. Only one. Yeah. Only one unit per tile. Man, there's four of them right here. Right all this clustered together. Oh, look! Приветствую тебя, незнакомец. Если твой ум и такт сравнимы с твоей привлекательностью, мы замечательно поладим. Yeah, okay. So we got the Russians near us. Cities, like military units, can defend against... Better watch out. Fortunately, these barbarians look like they're extraordinarily confused. Is there another city-state right below us? So it looks like right now, I'm sharing Africa, I think, with the Russians and a crap ton of uh, city-states. Man, I hope the Russians would really help us out here. Uh, 
Well, next turn those barbarians will be dead. And we'll be much better for it. Which they were able to just devastate one of. Poor Asher's brilliant and glorious farms. We have no combat units defending our territory. Okay. Alright, well... Yeah, I don't want to send a... Settler all the way down there. You are set. Oh, he'll be fine. Oh, sweet. Let's make another one. We'll get the ball rolling on this whole... Expansion thing ASAP. So... The Assyrians were kind of known for... Um, well, being extraordinarily brutal with uh, their opponents and not only that they would like paint like paintings and murals about their brutality like they would have you know in their, in their castle lobbies or whatever the hell you want to say they would have giant murals of showing like the massacres in which they have done and they would uh, put down rebellious cities with the utmost of ferocity like, there are stories that they would take people and they would build, like, they would literally build them into the walls. Like, they would build the walls around them so they would starve to death. He who or destroys like... a good book kills reason itself. Or they just, you know, impale you and stick you onto the wall with a bunch, you know, the walls have a bunch of spikes on them and they just, like, stick you there and let you bleed to death. They were nice guys. And they're often, like, I think I said this in the intro that they're kind of like referred to as like the biblical version of Nazis. But they were the first ones to really establish uh, the empire, the version of the empire that came to dominate human civilization the first one is to really establish traditional and standardized armies and trade routes and all those types of good things that you associate with what they call the benefits of empire if you will there's the Russians he who And, uh, they were close allies for a long time with the great city-state of Babylon, or civilization of Babylon. And I can't remember the exact story, but at one point, sort of, Babylon betrayed the Assyrians, or they perceived it as a betrayal. And they completely wrecked the city. That there are... Civil, uh, there are historians that say that the Assyrians destroyed Babylon with the force of a nuclear bomb. That they tore down the walls, they sowed all the fields with salt, they diverted a river over it, so uh, it could never be seen again. Except they, instead of, you know, using atomic force, they did it all by, uh, or all with their hands. So pretty cool guys, all in all. Here is some Oh, kids. I should research archery and make sure I've got archers in my cities to ward off barbarian invaders. And have them heal. No.
And they really like to burn that farm. That one particular farm they just seemingly do not like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in Africa again. Like, literally almost the exact same spot. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. Did I, did I skip over shooting them? I think I did. Okay, well. The Russians have put St. Petersburg over here. Out to help me see. Well, I can't build roads quite yet. Yes, I will. Public decoration of. Oh, it is now protecting Budapest. Well, you do that all you want. See if I'll stop you. Oh shit! No! 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 Fuck! That's a bad move. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Maybe I get lucky and they'll leave it alone. Holy crap, they did. We have succeeded. Alright, we really got to start defending our home cities because we're getting hounded by barbarians. Man, more of them. There's no way I'm building cities so far away. Did I research archery? I think I did. Alright, I gotta recall my warrior. Oh, jeez, they just keep on coming. Well, hopefully Wittenberg will defend my settler. Why it's trying to send me to establish a city all the way up the friggin' Nile River. Well, actually, well, considering history, that's probably a really good place to establish a city. Get him, scouts. All right.
Well, hopefully my settler and my warrior 